Elijah, what would you call yourself to be? <laughs> Engineer and Sean, an energy an entrepreneur. You have to ask what a liberal arts lawyer like Durbin is doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up with him. But the good news for Sean is he is in an environment here in Illinois where he can make a difference that I believe he will. He's in a position near Oregon, near Ferry, where he can integrate the newest technology, the newest innovation, into new business opportunities and new jobs, good paying jobs, jobs of the future, right here in the state of Illinois. He's proven that in his private life, his business life, comes from the new congressman from this district. I thought when I heard about his background, what are you doing in politics? You <laughs> seem like such a normal guy. <laughs> and then I ran into a fellow named Greg Bales. Some of you may know, about, know Greg Bales. He was, he was <laughs> was Greg left my staff on a leave of absence and managed Sean's campaign. And uh, Greg, thanks. You've done this district. <laughs> Greg told me a few secrets over lunch about you, Sean. <laughs> he said that you used to play rugby at Middlebury. Is that correct? Had a few teeth knocked out. Is that correct? No obvious change in cognitive ability. <laughs> Not too seriously. Also, it turns out to be a musician, piano player, correct? Got a band? This is good. I've learned some important things about you here. And I've also learned that he's the kind of person you can count on. He's serious-minded. He took this campaign seriously. It was not an easy one, and we knew that from the start. But I knew, because I could tell from the beginning, he knew why he was there. He knew who he was, and he knew his values. And he brought them to this district, and it worked. I heard earlier, and I'm going to close with this, that all of us have an obligation, once the election's over, to govern. And governing means working together. Many times with people from another political party. Dan Cronin's my friend. Dan, I'm glad you're here. I've always had an open door in my office for you. You've come to me with issues involving infrastructure in Page County. And recently you came to me with an issue which is bipartisan, sterogenics, and the concern about public health in this county. It's an indication that when we need to, we can and should work together. Dan, thank you for being here today. It's a significant step. So I'll close by saying this. It's an exciting moment in your life to be a new member of Congress, a new member of the U.S. House of Representatives. These new people behind me coming from all over the United States who are joining me in governing this country. It's a rare experiment, this democracy of ours, and it's one that has worked to serve us well for a long, long period of time. Today we gather for a celebration. Tomorrow we gather with our eyes focused on the future and what we can do to make New Page County a better place to live. Illinois, better state, and the United States of America continue to be, with God's blessing, the greatest nation on earth. Thank you all.